The metals market has been shining this year with gold, silver, copper, all up double digits. And if you're looking uh, to rock out with some serious profits, our next guest has three names that belong on your heavy metal hit list. Let's go off the charts with Todd Gordon of TradingAnalysis.com. Todd, take it away. Hey, Melissa. Uh, first, I want to take a look at uh, just set up the, the sector here, emerging markets over the XLB materials. Obviously, a lot of the a lot of the materials companies sourcing raw materials from emerging markets, so no surprise, good correlation. The other thing I would say is uh, emerging markets relative to the S&P is actually gaining steam here since September. So three names, Freeport, number one, strongly rotating into a leadership position within materials, within the non-ferrous metals industry. It's done really well. Charts looking really solid. It put in a higher low in 2020 compared to way back in 2016, which is uh, brought it up and through downtrend resistance source from 2011. So you know, we're going on 10 years. Uh, another 10 days from now, we get the monthly close above 20 bucks, and we could be all clear for Freeport. Amazing. Company gets 80% of their profits uh, from copper. Copper is an exact same looking chart, same kind of deal above three bucks in copper if we can sustain that in the monthly. Number two, Newmont, um, good monthly rotation uh, within this sector and industry group. Uh, Newmont is the strongest right now that they have exposure to gold, copper, uh, silver, zinc, lead, uh, trying to break a 25 year channel through 75. Again, we're, we're actually seeing some of these material stocks sort of reflation trade, emerging markets coming on. I, we might actually see inflation. Last is not really a mining stock. Albemarle ALB uh, is the leader in lithium mining uh, for these EV stocks uh, for the batteries. Very interesting space right now. It's 21 percent of the global production uh, with so much focus right there. Uh, it's very much in play. Again, uh, a solid monthly uptrend. Uh, you can see in the channel if the charts up monthly resistance all the way up under two hundred dollars. Thank you, Todd. Todd Gordon. You're welcome. Tradinganalysis.com. Um, Bonwin, your favorite here. Yeah, I'm looking at FCX. I like the way that stock has been trading. And really, you know, although they do have a, a bulk of their revenue source from copper, they are still a diversified natural resource company. And what that does, it gives you the protection of the downside, right? If we've talked about how emerging market has outperformed, we've talked about the pressure on the dollar. And then it also gives you on the back end exposure to the reopening recovery story that we've seen the rotation into. So I've been looking at that one uh, particularly sticks out to me. But great analysis on his part. Guy. It's interesting. Albemarle, which we don't talk about a lot, I think City just upgraded the stock. I believe they put a $132 price target on it, but that's just them playing catch up. You might see more analysts. It's had a huge run. I'm with you. I think you know how I feel about gold. I think, you know, gold's building the base here. I think Newmont Mining's the place to be. And Freeport, which Tim has talked about, I know we've mentioned it a number of times over the last six months. Tremendous run. Feels like it's long in the tooth. I don't think it is. I think FCX can continue to uh, gain ground from these levels. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.